uh, welcome back students so in the last video we learned what are the what is the stepwise process for solving this weight volume cancer ca calculation problems and what are the four types of uh, problem that you're going to encounter and i am dr saudati from bennett university okay so let's go ahead and see what kind of problems are there so see the first three as i said they are very common that is that they are uh, more commonly like interconversion of units that is one type of weight to the other one type of volume to the other or based on this equation two known one unknown problem and the fourth is the dilution problem which students are more familiar with so it may seem to you that the fourth problem is different from the first three but believe me they are not and i will show you in the next slide so the fourth type of problem the dilution problem can also be derived from this equation that is concentration equals to weight for volume so here what i we are trying to do we have a claim that i have made the type 4 problem can also be deduced from this equation so we want to prove or disprove it okay so let's take this equation right here so c1 v1 equals to c2 v2 so if you take the equation and rewrite them slightly you take the volume from the denominator to this side so you multiply the concentration with the volume and what are you going to get you are going to get the weight on the other side right so let's put this in this equation so here if you remember c1 and v1 are the initial concentration and initial volume and c2 or v2 the final concentration and final volume so c1 v1 if you multiply them you are going to get the weight 1 so here c here you have v you have multiplied to get the weight so getting weight 1 and this side c2 v2 you are multiplying to get the weight 2 so this what it tells you is that it's a conservation of mass that is weight before is the same as weight after so this is a, another representation of converse conservation of mass okay so the weight of the solution is not changing it's just the volume and the concentration that is getting changed okay so that is also you can see it is derived from the same equation okay so now going ahead what i want to do i want to dissect this particular problem and going to take the four step process and see if we can at least identify what type of problem this is so to do that first thing we want to learn which parameter is weight which parameter is volume and which parameter is concentration so here i have created a table that would comprehensively cover all types of or mostly all types of weight volume and the concentration so in terms of weight the units would be should be used to identify the parameters is it weight or volume or concentration uh, that is true for all of them so use units to identify is it weight is it volume or is it concentration so what units are present so weight units are mostly you are familiar with that is gram milligram kilogram that is derivatives of gram the other units that these people sometimes forget is also weight unit is the moles right so 5 moles of sodium chloride in that bucket or 5 micromoles of sodium chloride 5 picomoles of sodium chloride so these things are 
are weight units okay so volume on the other hand is predominantly represented by liter okay so we are not going to see any other units so liter and its variations represent volume milliliter microliter nanoliter so these are more common the concentration is probably the most uh, di di uh, versatile of all these units or diverse of all these units so at least here you have we have represented three four types of concentration <coughs> so molar is something you may be most familiar with so molar represents the moles per liter so moles being the weight and liter being the volume so this is a weight per volume so all of this like concentration should be can be represented by weight per volume the second kind of weight uh, concentration you're going to encounter is weight percentage volume so what is a weight percentage volume so it is the number of grams in 100 ml so if it for example means 20 percent nacl it means it is a 20 gram of sodium chloride in 100 ml of solution okay not in water so it is a solution so similarly the volume here always represents the volume of the solution okay so the other one is x which we will learn so typically you are going to learn 1x 2x where x 1x refers to the concentration suitable for a purpose so you would often hear that mix the enzyme or mix the buffer in 1x concentration so that is what it refers to that 1x okay so 2x would be two times that concentration 0.5x would be half time or 0.5 times that standard concentration but 1x is the standard reference concentration the other one is the weight per volume again by volume we refers to the volume of the solution so this can be represented like gram per liter gram per ml kg per liter nanogram per microliter microgram per microliter and all this so all of this again are weight which is gram or its derivative and volume or uh, it uh, or liter and its derivative so these are the parameters so if you are able to understand and, and learn this table you would be able to easily identify what parameters are there are they weight are the volume at the concentration so that does the first step of this entire flowchart without this you won't be able to go ahead just remember one more term that is molecular weight so molecular weight does not fall into any of these categories although it says weight in it but it does not fall into any of these categories so it's a forever alone right so what exactly is it it's a constant it's a constant which can be used for interconversion of weights which we'll learn in a moment so its unit is either gram per mole or gram mole inverse which is the same thing or just a different type of representation okay so that's the these are the things about weight concentration and volume the second thing you must understand and learn is that the units of are interconvertible within itself but not with each other right so one parameter can be interconverted within itself but not with another parameter meaning one concentration unit can be converted to another concentration unit so molar can be converted to gram per liter or gram per milliliter or weight percentage or let's say um what else is there um even x also right or micromolar so this all things can be done but weight or concentration cannot be interconverted same for volume volume to weight cannot be interconverted volume to concentration 
cannot be interconverted. So there are different fundamental parameters altogether. So molar cannot be converted to moles. Very common mistake. Okay, this is concentration, this is weight. Molar, molar cannot be converted to liter or microliter. No, very common. So this is not so common, but this is a very common mistake. So please, please, please be careful about this one. So I just I'll highlight this with red. Okay, so don't do this. Okay, so how do how does the ones that are inter interconvertible among themselves are can be converted? So for example, one gram of NaCl is thousand milligram of NaCl. Pretty simple example. On a more difficult side, you could say that five mole of NaCl can be converted to gram. So how do you do that? So that's where the molecular weight comes into the picture. So molecular weight is a constant that can be used for interconversion within the same units, same parameters. So if you multiply moles with molecular weight, so molecular weight of sodium chloride is 58.5 gram per mole. So you see, I have put the units here and you must put pay close attention to units at every step. So this is the molecular weight. If you are multiplying the moles of sodium chloride with its molecular weight, what's going to happen is the moles and moles will cancel out and all you'd be left with gram. Okay, so you're going to get the, you're converting moles to grams. Okay, similarly, if you want to convert grams into moles, okay, you can divide it by molecular weight. That way, grams and grams will cal cancel out and mole inverse will come to the numerator and you'll get how much moles is present in 500 grams. Okay, so how much moles in 500 gram of NaCl. Okay, so that being said, so we'll stop here and go to the next video.